Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture we will discuss about reaction with acids and bases. This is part 3. In part 1 I told you about reaction with oxygen then reaction with water. Now we are facing means we are dealing with reaction with acid and base. Okay. So I will first check with acids. Okay, now here is metal, now here is known metal. So, this experiment you should also note, do this at your home, do this in laboratory uh, under the guidance of your class teacher. Okay, so what we will do here is, take a sample of metal in a test tube. Let's say you have uh, taken a metal like iron, small pieces of iron in a test tube and here is known metals like phosphorus. Okay, so here is metal and when you put slowly HCl, hydrochloric acid to each test tube. HCl here also. So student what you will observe is that in the part of metal in known metal you will see that known metals generally do not react with acids. Okay. But in case of metal, there will be pop sound comes from the test tube and this pop sound show that a hydrogen gas is coming. So this pop sound is due to the that hydrogen gas is coming. So we can conclude here that metals reacts with acids but generally known metals do not. So student this is the difference between metals and known metals when they react with acids. Okay so now let's discuss their reaction with bases. So student, now we will discuss about the reaction of metals and known metals with bases. Okay. So let's say an iron metal when react with bases, any base like NaOH, sodium hydroxide. So it produces hydrogen, okay, as a gas. And in this case, known metal plus NaOH, some complex reaction occurs. Okay, students. So it is very straightforward difference that when metals reacts with bases they produce hydrogen gas with the pop sound ok and known metals reacts with bases to produce a complex reaction means a complex reaction occurs when known metals react with bases ok so students this is the difference between when metals react with uh, bases and when known metals react with bases and I hope students you are pretty clear about these ok so let's 
uh, and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning